You know what I found out today? What? Our marriage license expired. Wait, we not married no more? It's expired. We gotta renew it. Why are you happy? What are you laughing about? Why are you smiling? And you called me chubby bubby. How dare you? That's actually so rude. And you said I look pregnant 24-7. Uh, Shut up! <laughs> Because I feel like I'm gonna be abandoned right now. Like it's just like everyone else. You guys leave me, and I just don't know. Leave what you. You made a decision, You're and you got caught. Me. Decision to do what? Like, you link somebody, and you got caught. You know what I found out today? What? Our marriage license expired. What? Wait, we not married no more? It's expired. We gotta renew it. Why are you happy? What are you laughing about? Why are you smiling? I'm, I'm, Nate, I was smiling and Nate. now you stuttering. Nate, I was not smiling. You're still smiling. I'm just looking at you because you're beautiful. And I smile because you're so beautiful. But look, that was a, an emotion of concern. But you're smiling. I said, wait, we're not married? You did not say it like that. Yes, I did. I said, no, because it sounded like you was excited to not be married no more. Come on. And you're still you still smiling. How's that re look at your Look at your face. Nate, I said... You should not be smiling. You should be in disbelief. I was. I was you should like, be crying. You didn't see me? I was like this. You was turned that way. I was like, wait, we're not married anymore? Oh my God. Honestly, he was definitely smiling at the end of it. It's probably because he was thinking about taking a trip to Miami after he tied the knot. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What's the minimum amount of money a guy should make in a year? I'd say like higher end, like six figures. Shut your stupid Oh. But so, like not hundred thousand six figures, like six figures. So like five hundred thousand. Yeah. I tell you that crazy. What is your ideal age range in a dude? Okay, so I'm eighteen. Okay. So like not younger. Like I would eighteen. Hope. Beggars can't be choosers. I got eighteen to like twenty. What is your <laughs> ideal race in a guy? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. You don't have a preference? I mean, I've dated. I guess I've only dated white guys. Are you serious right now, bro? And the minimum height high. that a guy can be. Oh, you got me. <laughs> 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 like 6'3". Whatever. Based off of those answers, the probability that you're going to find true love is uh, 0%. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, sh okay. Any um, anything to say about that? I'm not surprised, but I'm I'm still hopeful. 500,000? She is totally out of pocket, and then the height thing is just adding insult to injury. I'm six years old. Yeah. My brother is half my age. Yeah. I'm now 60 years old. How old is my brother? 73. How? Because I don't get riddles. I'm six. Yeah. My brother's half my age. 12. Half my age. Three. I'm now 60. How old is my brother? 63. Why? I don't know. I'm on pressure. Okay, the question here was not even that difficult. She needs to go home and get to the books. That you effed a whole platoon. Oh, yeah. How did this unfold? Where were you? I was in Alabama working at Buffalo Wild Wings. Okay, and one of them came in and he was like, he would, Yeah, and then he would stay for me, like, after work, and I'd be like, we go into my car. And, like, we would go to my car after work, like, do it. And then yeah, how, did, how did that translate into, things. yo, you should sleep with my whole platoon? It was like, bring your friends to eat some wings. And then I was like, oh, they're cute. And he was like, I was like, put me on. And he like, put me on. And then he like, put me on another, and then put me on another. And then they put me on a whole nother batch that would come in. Here's the real question, Jeannie. What's your relationship like with your dad? It wasn't. He left before I was born. Blame the father. I do have that issue. We need way more fathers in this world. And I think that would be the key to fixing women that end up like this. Are y'all talking to anybody else? No. No. May we test the theory? Sure. Sure. Y'all two swap phones. Who is Pat? Pat is a U.S. soldier in located in um, Ukraine. Okay. He's stationed in Ukraine. Do y'all talk? Sometimes. Like uh, relationship-wise? No. Who is Elijah? Elijah is not somebody that I want to be with. Can we see? No. Can't go through the chat? Huh? Can't go through the chat? No. Can't go through. Oh. Yeah, something really isn't right here. Her boyfriend might have to watch out for Elijah. Your grandmother, your great grandmother actually could work with a black man with more trauma. Because they understood that the black woman and the black man are on the same side. Now that we are all free and independent and to, we could do whatever we want to. Why would we seek to, you know, be one with the black man? We, we even you. think that being- Thank you, thank you, thank you. Clip it, 
slice it, put it on World Star. She said it, not me. Now that you're independent, you don't, don't need to be with There you go. There you go. And there and there you go. And there you go. There you go, black man. There it is. She's finally finally got one to say it. Build your grandmother, businesses with your, us. Your grandmother, us your grandmothers and your grandmothers and your great grandmothers had more trauma and more stress and did it better. They have exponentially less and they're handling it worse. But it's because they're free and can do what the hell they want to. They'll need to be with you. So you don't need to feel any guilt for taking care of you, for putting yourself first and making your passion, your purpose, your priority. You don't need to feel guilty because this 24 year old woman just said it. They have no, they don't feel any guilt about it. Thank you. So don't ask black men to care about your traumas when you can't even smile at us. That's why they don't like me. Because I won't allow you to dance around. I'm going to stay on the topic and get you to tell the truth. What is she going on about? She's really not helping her point at all. So bro pops up to me saying loyalty test, but this one's going to be on Snapchat. I tell him we can do it, but it's going to be a bit tricky if I need to screenshot. So he tells me if it comes down to me having to screenshot it, it means that she failed, so we should run it. So he gives me some context and this one here is a very specific request. He tells me to tell her that my name is Thomas. I got her Snapchat from a friend because I wasn't able to get in person when I saw her in Amsterdam. And the story is that basically we went on a holiday together with a big group of friends to Amsterdam and she was low-key flirting with this guy. Maybe I'm being paroled but I felt like something was going on between them. Obviously I was there so they weren't able to exchange details but I'm just wondering what would they have happened if they did. And if she asks what I've been up to, I should say that I've just been training because I'm a football player. Guys, deep how dedicated I am to this I literally changed the name of my snap for this request. So I add her and she added me back pretty quick and popped up saying, who's this? I tell her it's Thomas and we met in Amsterdam. She says, oh my gosh, Thomas, how did you find my snap lol? I tell her I got it from my friend and I'm still angry at the fact I wasn't able to get in person when I saw you. She tells me that that was a good holiday and I'll be honest, I never thought I was going to see you again. And I tell you, she was giving me like 20 second replies. I tell her, it sounds like you're a bit disappointed when you say that. And she says, just a bit. Anyways, how have you been? I tell her I've been good. I've just been training and working hard. What about you? Are you still with your man? So she literally denies that she has a man and says, nah, we broke up with the broken heart emoji. So I'm like, damn, I guess now you can come across to new people with the winky emoji. Tell her to send me your number so I can shout you properly. And she literally sends it straight away, no hesitation whatsoever. Obviously, she felt horribly wrong, so I start screenshotting the chat. She ends up deleting her sending me her number and denying that she has a man and starts bugging out. So I send all the evidence to the guy. He says, kiss my teeth. Yeah, mad. Man said I broke up with him when yesterday she was saying that she loves me. And I'm not even going to read out the last message that he said, Kai is mad. We need more people like this in the world that are willing to expose cheaters because it's getting way out of hand these days. What's the most annoying thing that your girlfriend says to you? I hate when they're all like, Hi baby, do I look fat in this dress? <laughs> you do, bitch. You look pregnant 24-7. <laughs> but I'm not going to say that to you. <laughs> but I love you though. You're my chubby baby. <laughs> Chubby Bubby, how dare you? That's actually so rude. And you said I look pregnant 24-7. Pregnant 24-7? Let's hope this girl's not the type to hold a grudge for very long. And it changed my entire life. She said to me, it's not so much how you look. It's how you make that man feel. We as a society get so lost in people's appearances. Oh, I'm prettier than her, so why is he with her? He should be with me. Why did he leave me for that girl? Or why is he with this girl and he should be trying to get with me? But you're missing an important component. How do you make that man feel? A lot of women don't know how to talk to their man. He doesn't feel supported. He doesn't feel understood. He doesn't feel heard. He doesn't feel appreciated. That's what she does. And that's why he's with her. Yeah, it's good to work on your appearance and look good. I love looking good. But it's just as important to work on your character as a person. Are you kind? Do you treat people well? Do you take accountability for your actions? Don't get so lost in your appearance. You forget how to treat people. Remember, your looks will get you in the door, but it won't keep you there. This is my take. Looks are not the only thing that matters in a relationship. The main thing that matters is how you treat your partner. How long have you guys been dating for? A year and seven months. So, do you guys think it's possible to have guy friends when you're in a relationship? Uh, if I know the guy. Okay, what do you think? Yeah, as long as they know they're my friend. Alright, so we're gonna do a little experiment. We're gonna pick a card from this game. They have some risky texts in here, and basically, I'm gonna have you call one of your guy friends and ask him a question. How does that sound? Good. Let's do this thing. Hello. Hey, Avery. How's your day today? It's pretty good. Just hit the gym. How about you? Nice. 
Not much, just school. That's what's up. Yeah. Do you want to get some food next week? Uh, what about your boyfriend? He'll be fine. We're just friends. I mean, yeah, I'm down. Uh, do you want to, like, maybe get some, like, dessert after? From where? Oh, uh, like, I have some, like, cake and, like, whipped cream back in my house. If you try to, like, cool through it. Hey, Avery, buddy. You know who this is? Who's this? This is her boyfriend, buddy. Oh, oh, Jack. how you doing, bro? I'm good, dude. Uh, there's no dessert here. And if you call here again, you're gonna be one who's getting creamed, you son of a We're done. Okay. Are we gonna talk about that unfortunate comment that the boyfriend made? What was that all about? Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> she, oh, damn. Cool. All right, hold on. Turn around quick. All right, so, uh, how you feel about her player? No. She got the tats on the thighs. Oh, you like yeah, she look gangster. I'ma reject it. Damn! He really hyped her up just to drop her. That is nasty work. Men and women, no. psychologically, as I've been learning, and I'm sure you've been learning in your college classes, they are completely different. Biologically, evolution completely different. Our evolutionary goals are different than y'all's. Like, girls, whenever they have one guy, their goal isn't to go We're committed to that one guy. That's how y'all are. I'm you not guys, to 12 men. Men like, want to go, not. men are wired biologically to go spread their seed as much as they can. That's not how women are. So why do you have trip if we cheat if you know the signs already? Because Absolutely like, not. You can still control yourself. You're not a Child. We're biological. You're biological. not a child, though. You can control your urges. Yo, to 100. You can no, control no, your no, urges. No, you no, cannot no, cheat on no, me. No. Absolutely not. You're Absolutely no. not. You're it. I like your hair, though. Thank you. Here's the deal. I don't understand why this girl is so aggressive. Is it like she's hardwired to do that or something? <laughs> Because right I feel now. like I'm gonna be abandoned right now. And like, you're just like everyone else who tried to leave me. And I just don't know Leave you? You made a decision you're and you got caught. You're leaving me? Decision to do what? Like, you linked somebody and you got caught. It wasn't even that you went serious. My back it and wasn't you went that serious. Stop. He was a hooper. Stop. He was a hooper. He played basketball. Yes. <laughs> but it wasn't that serious. Like, Y'all like actually. Yeah, like, but it was just the one time thing and we used protection. It wasn't even for that long. So I don't even know why you're bugging. Like, it was not even for that long. Like, can you please come back to me? Please? Get off of me. Please come don't back. Like, like, stop. <laughs> just please. Like, you're overreacting. I'm not overreacting. I only did it because you didn't answer your phone. Like, you never answer your phone. And you're never Bro, there you for me. You you're know what I'm doing. You're never there the for me. You want Jim? What gym are you at? You know what like, what gym at. opens that? Like, you're a liar. Okay. Like, you, you don't even care right, about right, me all right, at all. Right, right. How long was this going on for? Like, though? for a month, but it wasn't even that serious. Did you, did you read that for? Yeah, but, yeah. Why are you right, asking gonna... me that? The traffic is like, where are you going? <laughs> Why is she acting like this is something that you can just leave and forget about? She is the one who's tripping on this, not him. Five, three, two, one. Why was he hugging him like he's the father? She has a lot of explaining to do. I asked her if she's ever done illegal She said no. And the test determined that she was telling the truth. I asked her if she'd ever stolen anything. She answered no. The test determined that was a lie. Okay. I asked her, do you think your boyfriend is worthy of your love? She answered yes. Test determined that was a lie. I asked her if she'd ever watched. <clears throat> she answered no. The test determined that was a lie. I asked her if she'd ever had an unprotected. She said no. The test determined that she was telling the truth. I asked her if she'd ever contracted an STD. She said no. The test determined she was telling the truth. I asked her, do you value your boyfriend? She answered yes. The test determined that was a lie. What do you, what do you mean? Like, what, there, what does that there, mean? There's, there's more. That can, mean a, that can mean a number of different things. Take it as, as you will. I asked her, do you have multiple boyfriends? She answered no. The test determined that was a lie. Are you 
Ryan, serious? relax. It's not relax. even true. He relax. It's not 100 percent Relax. Oh my God. We oh, have to do this. For the most part, I actually had hope, but that all went out the window the moment she lied about valuing her boyfriend. Smart though. Yeah. She goes to the school. Which country, which country did Mexico gain its independence from? Texas. All right, I guess you gotta kiss it, because it's Spain. No, it's yeah. not. No, it's not. I swear it is. I swear. Right, it's I swear it's Texas. I go to UT, it's Texas. said I swear it's Texas, but honey, Texas is not a country. Honestly, she might have to go to a different school because clearly the current school she's at is not teaching her the right stuff. Babe. Why, is, Babe. why did you put the camera in front of me? I'm watching I wanna, tell you. I, I want to tell you I love you. I love you. I love you. What are you up to again? I just, I love you. I love you too. Oh. What do you love about me? When you asked me, when you told me I love you, did I ask you a question? Why are you asking me a question? Babe, I just want to know what you love about me. Is this exams? Babe, I just want to know. Is this exams? I just want you just to said know. I love you. I said I love you. So why are you asking me a question? Did I ask you a question? You two, what do you love about me? I asked you first. Huh? I asked you first, what do you love about me? No. Leadership by example. You led by saying you love me. You, you, you. What do you love about me? If you can't babe, answer, don't ask me babe, questions. I love your smile. Okay, me too. I love how you hold the phone. <laughs> oh my God, Louis. Oh my I, God, I'm, Louis. Yeah, oh I'm, my God, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Take the phone and let me watch my TV. Let this man watch TV in peace. He's probably missing key moments in the show. Did you fart? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What? Did you fart? <laughs> no, I didn't fart. What's wrong with you? What do you want? Anything but you. <laughs> 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 okay, that was a good one, and I'm super glad she was a good sport about it. At this point, okay. like it feels like it's not real because I've never had a grown man take me to Starbucks for a date. What is this, grown, high school? You never had a grown man in general because, uh, you know, you act really unappreciative. Like you expect me to take you, you to some five star restaurant right out the gate. You know what? I'm gonna do you one better. I'm not even gonna take you home. You know, what? Any, any dude can- See, the crazy thing is, is a lot of women would die for some Starbucks and she can't even appreciate the nice gesture of taking her out for some. This woman needs to stay single for a little bit longer.